live from Strongsville, Ohio, it's a moment of Michael, episode 19. So today was uh, pretty, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to say. Can I get a middle finger all the way up in the air? You know exactly what I'm going to say about how many sales I got today. So yeah, I bageled. I think what's worse is just the fact that there were so many people that I talked to that just seemed close. Like I feel like I'm really on the cusp of really becoming the salesman that I really could be. Not that I won't become that salesman. I'm positive I will become that salesman. How I will become that salesman, that's something still yet to be seen. But enough about me. I'm going to talk about my family for a little bit. It just dawned on me today that, you know, there's so many people who watch this that probably don't know exactly, I guess, the background of who Michael Morgan Man is. So I find it expedient to kind of talk about my family to be able to help you understand uh, who I am because they played a big, big role in me getting to this point. So let's get the details out of the way. I am the youngest of my mother's four children. Of those four children, I'm the only boy. All my older siblings are sisters. My oldest sister, her name is Jacqueline. The next oldest would be Megan. And then the next oldest would be Molly. And then me. So. Then you have my mom, beautiful Charlotte. And where it all starts for me goes all the way back to living with my grandma. For a really long time, my mom was a single mother, just raising me and my three older sisters. And we lived with my grandma in my grandmother's house. My grandmother, Tonya, I can only know her as grandma, but she was pretty freaking instrumental in my upbringing. The reason being is while my mom had four kids on her plate, it was really easy for her to kind of just divide and conquer with my grandma taking me most of the time and she took my older sisters. And whilst we lived with my grandmother, uh, in and out throughout the first eight years of my life, I had my aunts constantly living with us as well. Now for me, I loved it. It was tons of fun being able to be around family. Just the fact that there are people who are consistently in your life, that's just something that's super awesome to me. I love it. And then when I was about eight years old, my mom started dating this great man who eventually became my stepdad. His name's Harry great kid. <laughs> He's lots of fun and although he was kind of late showing up into my life, he really has been the most consistent father figure I've ever had. So when we moved in with Harry, we also inherited um, two more step siblings, my brother Josh and my sister Ashley as well as an entire wealth of another side of the family in Harry and his relatives. And although unfortunately Josh and Ashley has kind of slipped out of prominence in the picture, um, I still consider them family. So for the sake of brevity, I won't really go into the extensive family details. I'll save that for tomorrow. So it'll be kind of like a two-parter episode. So be sure to, after you're done watching this video, when you get the chance, go and watch the next video because I'll talk a little bit about why I bring up the family and why it's been on my mind recently. But until then, of course, as always, say something nice before you go to sleep, do something great before you die. See you soon. What is this place?